Hey everybody, Josh from Soka here uh, with the video that you all asked for. I think in my last video I said if you want to see titanium anodizing, let me know. I think we had like 54, 56 comments that all said, please show us titanium anodized. So uh, I am terrible at this job, and so I brought our master anodizer, Brooke, to be, <laughs> to be here with me. Uh, Brooke, how long have you been doing this job? Um, roughly a year and a couple of months, give or take. Okay. Um, Brooke is also the inventor yeah. of Unicorn, yes. uh, which many of you may know. We've had Rainbow for a long time, and that one is hard, perfected by our own Carly, who's amazing. Mm -hmm. And then Brooke had the idea for Unicorn, and she showed it one day, and we were like, we've got to make this. So how long did it take you to figure out Unicorn? Um, so basically when I did Unicorn, um, I, Funny enough, I actually made Unicorn out of a mistake cage. Okay. So um, sometimes we get a little bit of extra time at the end of the day where we have cages that otherwise would have to be redone um, for whatever reason. Um, so I took that time one afternoon and just seen a, just to see what I could do with it. You <laughs> played know? around, just yeah. Played around, yeah. And um, I actually just, I don't know, I just... Uh, <laughs> I would say happened. one afternoon, one fun afternoon that I had a little extra time. And I love it. Yeah, I love when so. <laughs> when fun new things come yeah. out of mistakes because yep. we all make a lot of the mistakes. And if yes. we can do something cool, that's awesome. Okay, yes. so here's what we're going to show you today. Brooke is going to uh, essentially walk us through all the colors in the band. And so you can see, uh, pretty cool, how the colors kind of come and go as you walk up the voltage. Um, she's going to make a unicorn cage for us, which is amazing she makes it look so easy and then i try to do it and it looks like a piece <laughs> of poop um and then she is going to show you uh the difference between an etched and unetched titanium and that is a, a process we are not going to show you here that one's a little bit proprietary um, but the key with the titanium is to etch any oxides off of the metal beforehand and then also we use a, a special chemical of our own creation to reduce the amount of aluminum and vanadium uh, that is in the titanium surface, and it just gives you much brighter colors. And so I think everybody I know, uh, from Firefly to Moots to uh, titanium finishing, everybody's kind of got their own special secret recipe for this, including us. Um, so we're not going to show you that, but we will show you the difference between etched and unetched, so you can see it's a pretty shocking difference. Yeah. Awesome. So let's get to it. All right, so here we are with uh, Brooke in front of the setup. And the setup, you can see, is essentially a clear plastic fish tank. It uh, has to be plastic uh, because of uh, the things involved. Um, I've got it lit with a little stick light. We've got a GoPro in there so we can give you some B-roll of uh, what's happening up close. And then our little uh, uh, voltage generator here. And so Brooke is going to start us off with bourbon. And Brooke, where do we get bourbon? We get bourbon at 13. You can do exactly 13. Anywhere from 13 to 13.5 is probably going okay. to be okay on that. So it's a pretty forgiving color. Yes. Awesome. Okay. Um. So the walls of the tank are lined with titanium sheet. And then she is going to hook the other end of the other electrode onto the cage. And so as soon as she dips, we're essentially completing the circuit. Go for it, Brooke. Let's okay. see what we get. So the straight colors are, well, pretty straightforward. You put them in. You can see the amperage uh, climbing up, and uh, eventually it'll kind of top itself off. And now I'm going to flip it around to this side. Being like really careful not to scratch that that top piece. Okay. And then okay. That's probably yeah, that's probably it, good. Kind of bring it up and hold it okay. next to your face so they yes. can see it. And then so there this you go. would be bourbon. And of course when it dries it will look a little bit different than it does wet, so just keep that in mind. Don't get afraid by, <laughs> you know, a different color from the water. All right, Kay. let's throw it back in and let's go. What's our next color? We can go up to purple, which would be anywhere between about 18.5 to 19. So, 
I'll go, I'll just go 18. And then, okay. If you hold that a little further towards the back of the tank, yeah. I think that'll give the okay. camera a little easier view. Okay. Okay. I'm going to turn it up a little higher. <laughs> Sorry. It, and that cage is etched? Huh? That's yes, etched this is an etched cage. It's just uh, taking a little bit longer than I... moving faster now. Hmm. <laughs> okay, my plate's not doing very well, but... That's fine. I mean, you just really... And so then you got this half that's starting to turn purple, which you can keep going up on the scale with. All right, so what do we have next? Next you have aqua. Aqua is one of my favorites. <laughs> of the solid colors. And that will take you up to 33. Okay. And with aqua, it pretty much does have to be exactly 33. If you go any higher, you run the risk of it turning too dark of a blue color. Um, okay, then I guess I can... Yeah. You can flip sides. Okay. You do it. Okay. Okay. I'm kind of really hoping my, my plate turns. Sometimes it is tricky. Oh, there we go. It started starting. There, yep. Okay. And then. And then we've got Matches your shirt. aqua, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And okay, what's next? Next is rainbow. Green. Right. We're going to do green. I would, yeah, I would just go past rainbow and let's go to okay. the solid color. Okay. Green is, well, maybe pink. I'm trying to, I'm trying to like really think because, yeah, we can we can put it at 100 and just okay. like see what it does. And this is green? Yeah, and green, keep keeping in mind is still kind of tricky because sometimes when you do green you get a different variation of shades of green so it's just sometimes more tricky um, and then you'll see it does go through um, different colors to get to green well yeah just hold it down there hold it down okay there so okay see okay there's the pink. And here comes the pink. The how, that's how fast, that is how fast it can go from aqua to green to pink, back to green. If you notice it will start going back yeah. to green. Um, that's how I get that mermaidy green color. Um, <laughs> and now this one's just, just a oh, big yeah. old a ton of variation. Yeah. <laughs> so you can see yeah, the, the yeah. challenge of the, the green. Green yeah. and pink are super elusive colors, mm -hmm. right? Which you can achieve them in unicorn. Yes, yeah. But they're almost impossible as like a solid. As a solid green, it's, it's pretty difficult. Um, you can get it, but it's just getting the exact same shade every time is the, the trick. For some reason with unicorn, I've just figured out how to like the exact way I need to dip it the exact speed so that it doesn't you don't leave it in too long to where it turns you know past the yeah. green you know but you you leave it in long enough that you get that nice green after the this little tealy blue color Excellent. So, All right. yeah. show us unicorn okay right. and then show us, uh, unicorn, unicorn is relatively fast um, so you'll kind of just have to watch that one <laughs> um, And this is relatively unicorn. 
<laughs> and <laughs> most of our unicorns turn out, you know, there's variations, but they're all roughly, they're all the same um, color scheme, the same dip, the same amount of time that I dip them is the same. Um, yeah. Okay. Now, no. this one is not etched. And Doing anything on it's just not not very good. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> that's probably as as good as um, an unetched cage is gonna look. It's definitely very dull and. The colors aren't as bright at all. Um, yeah. All right, everybody. Uh, after they dry, here is what the two unicorn cages look like. You can see the etching process is every bit as critical, probably maybe more so even than mm -hmm. the anodize, but clearly the, um, the skill of the anodize is, well, let's just say I can't do it. So <laughs> thank you, Brooke, You're for welcome. showing us anodize today. Uh, all of you, thanks for watching. Please uh, leave comments uh, below. Let us know if there's any other processes that you are interested in, and maybe we'll try to come up with a few uh, that we can think of that you guys might not even know exist. So, but if you uh, can think of something, how do you make whatever, let me know in the comments below. Thanks again for watching.